truth is, the game was rigged from the start. The Mojave Wasteland stretches for many miles, and the dangers that it holds make it an enormous obstacle for any traveler with a destination on the other side. During this long and arduous trek, a smart wasteland wanderer knows when to rest and save their strength for the next long hike. Sit Anywhere by Bluebell Ferry makes the ability to rest on any wasteland adventure much, much easier. Ensuring that your weapon is stowed, simply press X and relax. If you prefer, this hotkey can be changed by holding down the X button and rebinding it. But for the purposes of our playthrough, we chose to leave it as it came. Fantastic work by Bluebell Fairy, it's so nice to finally be able to take a load off our feet. Like many games that are made for both the console and the PC, many compromises must be made so that the product can accommodate both platforms. In most cases, this compromising becomes evident in the UI design for the various menus and text-based displays. Fallout New Vegas certainly follows this same trend. The vanilla UI is very compact with large text so that it is easy to see on a distant TV for those playing on console. However, when on PC, this leads to grievances such as too few items in the menus and text overlapping with other elements. However, the benefit of playing on PC means that modders like Axonis can fix these issues. Vanilla UI Plus seeks to make the dialogue, companion, crafting, and barter menus much more visually appealing to those on computers. In practice, this means smaller text and more spaced out menus showing more items at a time. However, while making optimizations to the UI design, Axonis chose to preserve the original look and feel of the menus because it matches very well with the game's atmosphere, and frankly we would have to agree. Vanilla UI Plus is a fantastic solution to crafting recipes whose list runs off the page, or weapon mods overlapping with the effects display, and several other unpleasantries with the original menu system. When installing this faux mod archive, you are presented with three different options. We chose the classic Pip-Boy font option, which includes the intended UI changes, but also switches the font of the Pip-Boy to be more like the text from the original Fallout game. We feel the change is a nice way to pay homage to the isometric days of Fallout, while also having a lore-friendly display that better matches the exterior design of the Pip-Boy. We also should mention a few technical notes regarding this mod, which is hosted on ModDB. In order to install this archive, we recommend using Nexus Mod Manager. However, because you must download the archive manually, you need to add it to Nexus Mod Manager by using the green plus button in the top left corner of the Mods tab and then navigating to the downloaded archive and then selecting it. Once done, simply activate it as normal. It is important that you install Vanilla UI Plus after the Mod Configuration menu, which you won't have to worry about if you are following along with our series. However, if you are installing mods on your own, you may run into issues with the UIO, which may need to be patched or otherwise resolved. We highly recommend reading the README in the installer screen to know what issues to look out for. There are several settings of Vanilla UI Plus that can be tweaked by editing the settings.xml file found under Data, Menus, Prefabs, VUI Plus. To edit this file, simply open it with Excel or a free tool such as OpenOffice. In this file, you can adjust things like the black background for dialog, the number of entries displayed at one time in a menu, the width and height of the Pip-Boy, and a few others. However, we are very happy with the settings as they came, so we did not make any changes for our game. Fantastic work by Axonis, we are truly grateful for their efforts in making Fallout New Vegas a bit more user-friendly. The Wasteland is not known for its small creature comforts. However, thanks to Edis Liado, you can have one back. Light up and smoke those cigarettes makes any cigarettes, cigarette packs, or cigarette cartons you find out in the wasteland significantly more valuable. When you open a carton, now found in the aid section of your Pip-Boy, you'll be given a random number of cigarette packs, and when you open a pack again, you'll be given a random number of cigarettes depending on the quality of the pack and your luck stat. These cigarettes can now be lit and smoked while you travel, nestled between your lips with that oh-so-familiar feeling. This feature is restored not only to cigarettes, but also to cigarillos and cigars. 
all of which can be crafted at a campfire. In addition to the sweet taste, cigarettes offer plus one charisma and agility. Lucky cigarettes achieve the same effects and also add plus one to luck. Cigars have the same bonus as cigarettes, but in addition grant plus one to intelligence. Cigarillos also have the same effects as cigarettes, but add plus one to strength. While these buffs seem great, they're a double-edged sword because smoking can also get you addicted to nicotine, which replaces the previous coyote tobacco addiction. When suffering from withdrawal, you'll experience a minus one to agility, charisma, endurance, and perception, which closely mimics real-world symptoms. While you could cure this addiction through the usual method of a dick doll or visiting a doctor, why not just light up again? Since this mod alters vanilla records, it's recommended to place it as late as possible in your load order to avoid conflicts. As cigar enthusiasts, we are very grateful for Edis Liotto and all of their hard work that lets us enjoy a nice smoke in the Mojave. When you first encounter Prim, it's in a bit of a crisis. Convicts have taken over the Bison Steve Hotel and have forced the town's residents into hiding. The town has lost its sheriff and the deputy is essentially useless. Should you restore law and order to Prim, the Bison Steve remains in its state of decay. Leaving the once massive casino and hotel to simply wither away seems such a shame. Fortunately, Mike Honcho saw fit to preserve the spirit of Prim with his mod, the new Bison Steve and Lucky Casino. After bringing the law back to Prim, a quick conversation with Steve, who can be found in the Vicky and Vance, will set the ball rolling to bring the Bison Steve up to its full potential. Well, I'll be damned. I heard through the grapevine you were still a-kicking. Hoped you might show up here. Well, word is, is you damn near come back from the dead. Damn miracle, if you ask me. I'll bet you do. The way I figure it, you either got a golden horseshoe stuck up your ass, or an angel on your shoulder uh, looking out for you. Either way, that kind of talent might come in handy on a project I'm working on. You interested? Sorry about that. Reckon I got ahead of myself. The name of Steve, as in Bison Steve? Yep. That old place has been in the family for years, and I aim to rebuild it. But I need your help. Them goddamn convicts took over the town and got us locked up in here tighter than a virgin at Gamora. Hell yeah. Now that's what we need around here is somebody to take the damn Brahmin by the horns. That fucking beagle's a pussy. Anyhow, I need that hotel cleared out and Granny's blueprints brought back to me. They's locked up in her safe up on the second floor. After that, You'll have to make sure things is peaceful enough around here for the town folk to get back to work. But the first thing I need is in blueprints. What do you say? A whole lot of fucking caps, that's what. There ain't no casinos or a decent room around here for miles. If we can get some law in this town and get the old place fixed back up, we'd be set up to make a shitload of cash. You know what that makes us? That makes us partners. You ever wanted to stake in a casino? Here's your chance, partner. Well, hell far. I was right about you after all. Listen, it ain't much, but here's a little stuff I stashed away for a rainy day just in case. Come back and see me when you got them prints and we'll go over the rest of the plan. Damn, I almost forgot. You'll need this key. Good luck and be careful. We don't want to spoil this fantastic story that is fully voiced, introduces new characters and backstories, adds two lore-friendly player homes in different locations, a new casino full of life, gambling, eating, and drinking. The restored casino and player homes are filled with custom, beautiful artwork and models. Sadly, we won't be showing it off today because we feel it is far better to experience the new discoveries for yourself. But we hope by now we've earned your trust in our word. When playing this quest, it is important to keep in mind that it is designed for a new playthrough, to be initiated by a low-level adventurer working their way across the Mojave. Rebuilding the Bison Steve will involve adventures all over the wasteland, skill checks, combat, and much more. At the eventual end of the Bison Steve's resurrection, you will earn a weekly stipend as repayment for your efforts in restoring the casino. You'll receive a message weekly, notifying you that your pay has been deposited in the Bison Steve's safe. From our experience, this usually is about 600 caps a week. 
a nice sum for all the hard work. Lastly, two buttons can be found in the completed casino. The one near the office adjusts the population level. More NPCs bring more life to the casino, but can be taxing on your machine, so we recommend keeping your system in mind when choosing an option. The other button, found near the bar in the game room, simply toggles the sound system playing Radio New Vegas on and off. Truly an impressive mod by Mike Honcho, and we are very grateful for bringing more life to the criminally underappreciated town. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our show today. We sincerely hope you found something to add to your game, and please remember to leave an endorsement for any mod that you download and enjoy. These authors always appreciate your love and support, and it's the main reason why they keep giving us fantastic new creations. Thank you all very much for watching. Please consider subscribing to the channel so that you don't miss our future mod showcases. We put a lot of time and energy into quality testing these mods for compatibility and stability so that you get the best experience possible. Consider following us on Twitter by using the link in the description below. We post special sneak peeks about episodes and other mod projects we are working on. We hope you enjoy your time with us today, and please come back and join us when the white-collar players look at more immersive mods for Fallout New Vegas.